The city of Lincoln, and the hay market, has seen a rapid urban growth. From the old warehouse look to the new construction, the hay market is getting a facelift. Gordon Schultz, a professor of community and regional planning here at the university, has studied L Plan 2040 and its impact on the Lincoln community. Neighborhood redevelopment was a goal of the project. And I think uh, most people will recognize that neighborhood redevelopment has been a bit, little bit late in coming, but we're now beginning to see some redevelopment and even some restoration of historic buildings in that area. And all of that is making, I think, that general area on both sides of Antelope Valley a more attractive place to live. A part of the Antelope Valley project, Antelope Creek Village behind me was built in 2013, bringing 18 townhouses to Lincoln. Now under construction is the Antelope Square development, which will bring 24 townhouses to Lincoln. So I don't think property taxes overall will increase because of these projects. It does mean growth in terms of people living in Lincoln and it means probably increased property values, which will increase property uh, tax revenues overall. I'm very excited about the changes that have been made, and, and I think um, as the city grows, as Lincoln is growing at a modest rate of growth, um, it's, it's quality growth. It's not uh, something that we can be ashamed of. In terms of growth, one local coffee shop has adapted to this change. Dan Sloan, the owner of the mill, has seen the way the hay market can affect business. From the mill's perspective, it brought four or five new hotels, and that was a really big deal for us. We did kind of a full facelift of the business, went through kind of top to bottom, resurfaced floors, redid the bathrooms, bought new equipment. Um, we also implemented a much more rigorous training program for our staff, because you, again, you have a lot of people coming in from a lot larger cities. They're used to um, a certain standard of service yeah. and we just we've always felt like we've done a good job but there's always room for improvement and so we just wanted to be at the top of our game and I think that really has positioned us to to really um, benefit from all of those changes the whole the whole hay market has a real friendly it's competitive but but it's kind of friendly competitive everybody wants the area to succeed because then everybody succeeds we survive on that day-to-day -day customer we survive on the people that come here just part of their routine every single day so you always have to be adding new people and and down here it's um, it's new every day reporting for news Nebraska I'm Andy Vipond